Well, we sent uh, a letter to the administrator of NHTSA, that is um, uh, the, uh, the, the senator from um, Michigan, um, uh, uh, Gary Peters and myself sent a letter and we said that we want to know more information about what's going on in uh, with Tesla. We are seeing multiple accidents, 273 accidents, far more than others, other automakers that are on the uh, on the road. These are supposed to be driver assistance uh, technologies, but actually, what Tesla has done, they have branded what they're doing as autopilot, you know, that sounds like it's automatic, and the um, uh, full uh, uh, full self-driving, what is that supposed to mean? And has even told drivers that, uh, you know, when they go on long distance or short trips, that there really is no requirement for drivers in the driver's seat to um, act on anything. Well, that's just not true. Um, we have seen crashes, um, uh, certainly of people. Five people have uh, so far died from these Tesla crashes. Um, autom not only automobiles, but yeah. also, you know, so we, we, we are seeing this as a real growing problem. And Tesla is leading the way in that. And it's really unfortunate, I just want to say, because these are technologies that are so important for the future, and we want it to go right. So we have asked for um, full disclosure. We want briefings. We want to know exactly what's going on. And it, overnight, it's not just Tesla, though they are the leader, to your point. There was, yes, unfortunately, yeah. a BMW uh, accident in Europe yesterday that killed the, the passenger because it, apparently the self-driving test went awry and they ended up veering into traffic and were in a head-on collision. So it's not just Tesla, but um, how much do you think that companies, any company, whether it's Tesla, GM, Rivian, whoever it is, needs to explain to the American driver, self-driving does not mean watch a movie, fall asleep, or whatever else. Hands on the wheel, always, right? That is absolutely true. Do you know, though, that Tesla also had something called passenger play, that would set up a an ability for uh, passengers to, um, you know, do all kinds of games online. No, you're totally right. There has to be a clear explanation that right now there has to be full attention paid during the driving to make sure that we don't depend totally on these uh, on these automobiles to make sure that we're safe. Um, and and so we know that there are about thirty eight. Uh, investigations going on right now of, of Tesla. But again, I think you're correct that we need to do fully full examination of the, the total field so that we can move forward. People are really wanting to be able to, at the end of the day, have self-driving cars. But the experiments that are going on right now have shown that there are a lot of holes right now in the process of getting there. And what would you be happy with? What would be what would be an effective outcome to this, Congresswoman? Well, among the re requests that we made to NHTSA, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, is that we want to have a uh, a full briefing. We want our staff to be able to see the investigations that have been able that have been done. We want to know if uh, NHTSA, the regulator, has enough resources and authority to do what we need to do. We think so. Um, both uh, Senator Peters and I are chair of our um, uh, uh, committees in the House and the Senate that deal with auto safety. And so there clearly needs to be more guidelines, more clear pathway to achieve where we want to, to go without the kind of um, increasing accidents that we are seeing, particularly, again, of Tesla, but not only. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.